The story behind Splitgate and 1047 games is absolutely crazy at this point. From an indie shooter that once had some little buzz around it way back in 2019, to a effectively dead game, to now a completely resurgent shooter poised to possibly take over a decent amount of market space, it is unreal the turnaround that Splitgate has had. And while we could spend an entire video talking about how crazy that turnaround is, today I want to talk about some of the really really cool news and upcoming features that are happening in Splitgate. So today, if you guys missed it, 1047 did a Q&A stream where they gave us information on what's going on with the company and also talked about a ton of features that are coming into the game today, along with a ton of features that are on their roadmap or features that they want to implement but aren't necessarily on the roadmap yet. First things first is the official Splitgate 1.0 launch is actually being delayed until August. However, do not worry, the game is still going to be playable today or might already be playable by the time this video is up. So effectively what they're doing is extending the beta, but still giving us the content that we were expecting. So what we're really going to be getting today is all three new maps, Crag, Foreground Destruction, and Impact, which was already in the beta, along with a slew of bug fixes, along with server capacity and optimization. However, the one thing we won't be getting today is a paid battle pass. 1047 talked about how they don't really want to charge money for a paid battle pass until the game is fully launched, so that's kind of being pushed off until next month. They're really more focused on building a sustainable and complete backend first. So while it might be a slight bummer that the game is still going to be in beta for another half a month or so, really we're still getting the same content we were expecting anyways, so I'm still pretty excited. Hopefully the servers are able to handle the player base because it's been absolutely crazy, and let's talk about that. So Splitgate has now had over 65,000 concurrent players at once if you combine all the platforms between PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. You don't realize how crazy this was until you realize that on Steam, this game was in the lower triple digits for well over a year. And so this recent explosion put these servers into absolute chaos, which is why they've had so many issues keeping up. And they really talked about and explained a lot of those problems on the Q&A stream, which was really cool to see how open and transparent they were about these problems. Not only have they hit over 65,000 concurrent players, They've also had over 2 million downloads, which is just crazy to be saying. Along with just these stellar numbers, they also broke the news during the Q&A stream that Splitgate and 1047 Games received $10 million in investment from a company called Human Capital, which is a VC firm. They're really excited about this, and I'm pretty excited because this means they're going to be able to pump up the team and pump up the support for Splitgate. And so really, there's probably only good things that come out of this. They talked about how they have plenty of money now and they don't need to sell to anyone. A lot of people in the chat were saying, don't sell to Epic, don't sell to Epic. They said that they're not going to sell to Epic, but they do have a good relationship with Epic and they have been treated well by them, which makes sense since the game is on Unreal Engine after all. Cardinal Soldier talked about how the vision for him has always been to take it all the way and become a huge studio, not just Splitgate. They want to create other games and become a powerhouse in gaming. So now we kind of talked about the big news with Splitgate. You have the official launch being pushed into August, but we still have the beta coming back online and being extended starting today. And then we also talked about the $10 million in investment. Let's now talk about just all the different features that are either coming today or coming in the future. So today, like I mentioned, they have server improvements coming, but we're also getting an FOV slider on console, customizable keybinds on controller, and improvements to the anti-cheat. So these, along with the new maps, are really the main features that we're getting in this update today, but there's also a ton of stuff either on the horizon or just being thought about for the future. And so some things to mention in that realm are mouse and keyboard support on console, that's still being tested on their end. They talked about how ranked takedown is going to be added very soon. However, no ranked seasonal rewards are going to be added yet, as those will wait until the official launch with Season 1. They also just answered a ton of questions about different features that people have been asking for, and so one of the big ones that people keep talking about is sliding and mantling. Neither of these are currently in the roadmap, but they're not totally against them in theory. They are hiring some new engineers that are more gameplay focused, so these engineers will be able to help out with some of these features if they were to want to test them out or implement them. However, Cardinal talked about how he's not a big fan of sliding in a game like Splitgate, as it makes the combat start to feel a lot more like Apex or Call of Duty, as opposed to the more arena shooter inspired combat that Splitgate has taken. 
He did mention though, however, that mantling is something they are much more likely to add. But like I said, it's not on the roadmap yet. So if it was to come, it would probably be way down in the future. They also talked about how wall running will never be added, but that isn't because they hate wall running as a concept. What it comes down to is the fact that if you have wall running in a game, basically your entire game needs to be designed around it. The maps need to be designed around it, the sandbox needs to be designed around it, and Splitgate was not designed around that. Just like how everything in Splitgate is balanced and designed around the portal mechanic, so if you took that out the game would feel really weird and bare, you can't just toss in wall running and expect it to work without total overhauls that would completely change the game. They also talked about a battle royale, to which Cardinal Soldier said never say never, but it's unlikely unless he thinks that they can really do something unique and different. However, he does have an idea for a battle royale in mind that could be years down the line as a totally separate game and not a split gate battle royale. Local split screen is another feature where they say never say never, but no time soon. However, this one they do actually want to implement if they can get it working. However, there are a lot of hiccups when it comes to that in terms of performance and everything like that. I should mention that they do have the voice chat issues that we've been having fixed for today, which is pretty cool. And then they also talked about Forge and how Forge is a feature that they would really love to add, but currently at this point they have no timetable as to when it would be added into the game, but it is a feature that they would love to have in Splitgate. They also mentioned a little bit just about input-based matchmaking. They would love to do it at some point, but they're a lot more focused on handling growth and player-based numbers at the moment. And then they talked about skill-based matchmaking, where basically they just said that currently their philosophy is a much looser skill-based matchmaking than maybe something you'd see in something like a Call of Duty. And yeah, that's basically it. That's pretty much all my notes from their Q&A session. It was awesome. I am so, so excited for Splitgate to see what 1047 is able to do with this game. And so now with it making this huge resurgence, I'm just super excited to hop back in and play. I've been playing a ton of Splitgate on stream, off stream, and I'm having an absolute blast. It's pretty much the game I'm playing the most of at the moment. Although obviously you guys know I am a Halo YouTuber, so if the infinite flights do come out this week, that is going to suck up some of my time. But if it doesn't, I'm going to be playing a lot of Splitgate in the near future. And even if the infinite flights come out, I still plan on making time to play Splitgate and to make Splitgate content in the future. So that's something I want all of you to know. I know some of you would probably prefer I focused on just Halo or something like that. But the idea I have right now is pretty much to do a split between Halo and Splitgate as I love Halo. It's been a franchise I've been involved in forever. But Splitgate is just a game that I'm having a ton of fun playing right now. And so I want to be able to make content around it and stream because then it just gives me more reason and motivation to play the game. Whereas other games where I just play them off stream and I never make content on them or anything, I sometimes fall off of those because it feels kind of like a quote unquote waste of time. But with Splitgate, if I can focus energy and make content on it, that's really exciting for me. And hopefully you guys can be excited about that too. Anyways, guys, I'm going to throw my Splitgate referral code in the description. Use that if you haven't tried Splitgate out. I really recommend it. The game is an absolute blast. It's, it's back today and basically everything's probably on the up and up from here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Follow me over on Twitch. I'll be streaming a lot of Splitgate and Halo in the near future. You can also follow me over on Twitter or Instagram. And with that said, I'll see you all next time.